and you can see we're about a third of the way into the B grade uh, as long as we get this and all the other ones correct. So pause the video now and have a go. Okay, so bearings. This will be uh, interesting. So, ooh. Um, so this says the scale of the diagram is one centimeter represents five kilometers. Work out the real distance between L and H. Now it's very difficult to do this on the screen, um, but let's try and work it out. So uh, one centimeter. Looking at that, that is around seven centimeters from memory. <laughs> so if that's seven centimeters and you had no way of knowing that but you can have just try and guess and then see if you do the right method. If that's seven centimeters then all I need to do is seven times by five seven times by five to get the answer which is 35 and it's 35 kilometers. Now question B says measure the bearing of H from L. Now again this is difficult to do on the screen um, because we'll need a protractor for this but let's have a look at and see how we would do this if we had a protractor, if we had this written down. So it says measure the bearing of H from L. That from, hell, from L, uh, let's just highlight that. From L means that we're at L, so we're here and we're looking at seeing what angle H is. Now the way of doing that is if we're at L we measure the degrees from north. So north is here we're measuring this angle here. Now I know 90 degrees is a quarter well this is a little bit more than a quarter I think it's about 110 degrees. Now with bearings you don't need to have the degrees always it does have the little degrees there an answer of 110 is absolutely fine but 110 degrees okay it says a boat B is 20 kilometers from H on a bearing of 40 degrees on the diagram mark the position of boat B okay so from H so first of all we just highlight that from H so we're at H so we're here and the boat is at a bearing of 40 degrees now I'm gonna roughly try and estimate this so 40 degrees well I know that's nine uh, that's 90 degrees there I know that's roughly 45 so if I so that's about 40 there then that should be roughly right in the exam just to get a protractor and put it down there and measure that that's 40 uh, degrees. Uh, so if I label that say right that's 40. Okay and it says the boat is 20 kilometers. Now 20 kilometers isn't going to help us with a scale diagram. We want to convert that into centimeters. So the first thing really we should have written down and we'd probably better to do it down here yeah, I'll do it up here, it's a bit more space. It's 20 and we want to divide that by 5 to work it out in centimetres, which equals 4 centimetres. And so what we want to do is get our ruler and mark 4 centimetres. Now if that's 7 centimetres there, 4 centimetres is going to be about here. But obviously in the exam we get a ruler and measure it out. Now it says mark the position of boat B with a cross and label it B. So I need to do a little B next to there. So I've done the cross and I've done the little B. And that's how you'd answer on the exam. You draw a thin line up to mark out 40 degrees from the north line, because bearings are always clockwise from north. And then you do a little X, which is 4 centimetres away from H. Let's have a look at the mark scheme and see uh, what the mark scheme says. So it looks like I was absolutely right, 35. Uh, so it was 7 centimetres. And it says, well, okay, if they didn't quite get that, that's fine. 34 to 36 was acceptable. For B, it's uh, 110 degrees. 
and again if you are slightly off uh, they'll accept that and for C uh, you just need to mark the position of B so you've got one mark if it was a, at a bearing of 40 degrees from H or for a line on a bearing of 40 degrees so uh, that line is probably quite a good uh, idea to draw and then for a point that's four centimeters from H um, and that's how you got your marks <laughs>